Just a few short hours away from Philadelphia's first party of the new year and possibly one of its biggest, the Mummers Parade steps off at 9 o'clock this morning. CBS News Philadelphia's Wakisha Bailey is live at the Quaker City Clubhouse. We see people, Wakisha, Quaker <laughs> City won last year. What's the feeling like this morning? Are we excited? Are we anxious? You know, there is a fine line between those two. Yeah, good morning, Jane. Well, you said it best. It's not going to be hard to spot a mummer anywhere and just listen to the music. So you're right. The party is already starting this morning. And joining us is one of the captains. We got Kevin Casey here. So, Kevin, which brigade are you with? I'm um, with Carol Leone New Year's Brigade. I'm in the Wench Division. Okay, so tell us. We see that you have your band members in the back. We're seeing people already in costume. How long does it usually take to get ready for something like this? Uh, we start in February with getting themes and material comes in in the spring and then suits start coming in in summer and then from Labor Day on I'm here at least once a week and it just gets more and more and more every time. What is it about the Mummers Day Parade that you enjoy so much? I just got brought up into it as a kid. I loved it. Like I just got brought up and then uh, as you get older it's giving back to like seeing the kids and doing it for them and that's kind of why I do this to give back to my friends and family so they could have the best day they could have. That's, all, that's what it's really all about at the end of the day. Now, this is going to be all day. Did you even sleep last night? Yeah, unlike uh, probably 99% of the <laughs> country, I'm in bed by like 8, 9 o'clock. And I don't like, I'm a deep sleeper, so I didn't even, the fireworks didn't even wake me up. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sleeping early on New Year's Eve. Every okay, year. so <laughs> kind of walk us through what are you guys going to be doing today, like within the next couple of hours? Um, the band starts up outside around 6.30. We just parade down the street, and it's a day of friends and family. Some of us haven't only seen each other a couple times a year, so this is a big day for all that stuff. Um, we'll start from here. We get all the way to Wash and up Broad and around the hall and back, and that's... That's the morning part, and that's, you know, it's, yeah. it's every year it's an it's a extravaganza, or to say and, the least. And for those people that are watching this morning that are thinking, okay, should I come on out? What can they expect if they are first time going to a mummer's parade? I would need a lot more time. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, if they're coming out, definitely come to Broad Street. It's a party. Um, if you've got, the closer to the city hall you get, the better. Um, you'll see brass bands. You'll see spring bands. You'll see costumes of every ilk. It's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's everything. All right, Kevin, thanks so much for being with us. And can we get a check, a look at this costume? Now, when he first, when I first saw him, I wasn't sure if he was uh, wearing a shirt or not. And this is really a costume. So I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more costumes as well, Jan. Sending What's it back to you. What's the theme happening there with Kevin? <laughs> I'm just curious. Kevin, what is the theme? We're, we were just we're curious. What is the theme? It's like an underwater, it's like an underwater thing. Um, it's not a... It's C a strut, S E A. So it's like anything like under the sea, underwater. If you see us on TV, you'll see everything about that there. I 